Uh, three just dumped me. Uh, exactly the reason why I'm leaving RCR because you got those kids coming up and they got no respect for uh, what they do in this sport and they've had everything fed to them with a spoon. So um, I cut him slack all day and you know he just drives dive bombs me in there, uh, dumps me. So just got to thank all these Anderson syrup guys uh, for everything that they do. It's a shame you got to get taken out by some rich kid like that. It's just hard racing there and, and we definitely had a faster car and uh, he was kind of hogging the bottom. And uh, I just kept diving to the inside, and uh, as you can see there, I was I was low, and he kept he kept chopping down, chopping down. So um, you know it's getting to, down to the end of the race, and I gave him a tap, and uh, he got sideways. And then he hit the brakes to try and brake check me in the middle of the corner, and the 88 hit me, and just finished him off. Uh, so um, I can't believe uh, that kind of happened. You know I was you know that's that stunk the the wreck part, but to to tear a truck up after the race and totally take us out of the race, and then not to stick around after the race to walk off. Uh, not even want to say anything to me. I'm sure he's tweeting something now about it. So uh, um, can't even face me after it. I'm a little pretty disappointed in the things that uh, just went down. Uh, I used to look up to that guy, but uh, I guess he doesn't understand the circumstances uh, of what's going on. Uh, I understand it's tough racing down there in one and two uh, at Martinsville. You know we wrecked, but uh, to tear a truck up after the race and act like a punk on the track and on pit road and stop my pit road on my pit stall when my guys were coming out. Uh, that was uh, pretty ridiculous and uh, not happy with him. And for him to not even stick around, that's, uh, that's pretty sad too.